Greetings, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today, as a result of a direct request yesterday during the live stream, I'm going to do a little video on doing rudimentary continuity checks in coaxial cables. Here are three coaxial cables. This one here is fairly long. I mean, it's got a nice coil. This one here is a cable that I had in service. And this here is just a little jumper cable. And I'll try and illustrate the points with the jumper cable because they all work about the same. Uh, if we look at this cable, it's very short. Um, what we want to do is ensure that the connectors as they were put on, we have continuity from center conductor to center conductor. We have continuity from shell to shell. And there is no continuity between the center conductor and the outer shell. The easiest way to do that, of course, is just with a simple uh, multimeter, the kind like you find at Harbor Freight Tools for under $10. We're going to use the resistance scale, which is down here, and turn it to the lowest resistance, which is 200, right there. And we turn the meter on. Now the first thing we do is we short the two leads to see if we really do have a short, okay? And that reads 1.2 ohms, and that's, uh, it's hard for the instrument to read this, this close. So the first thing we're do going to do is check center. I'm going to hold this lead against the center conductor and the other one against the center conductor. And lo and behold, there is continuity. Now I'm going to connect the shell to the shell and there is continuity. And now I'm going to connect the center conductor to the shell. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There is an intermittent short between the center conductor and the outer cable. So what does that mean about this cable? It's bad. Okay. Now I'm going to take another cable here. This is one that I had in service that was giving me trouble. And so we're going to check center to center. Looks good. Outer to outer. Looks good. Outer to inner. Ooh, not so good. Another shorted cable. Okay, I'm going to stick that right there. Now let's take this, which I think is a good cable. And so we're going to check center to center. Yeah, okay. Outer to outer. Okay. Very good. And inner to outer. Looks good. Okay, looks good. Now you might want to wiggle the cables around a little bit, something there. Now, what do you do if this is a long cable and it goes, this end is in your shack, this end is out by an antenna and it's been routed through a few things. It's real hard to bring the ends together to do this test. Well, here's something that you can do. First, at one end, we'll say this end is in the shack. Check that there is no short. Okay, no short. It's the one means it's not flowing any current. Now go outside to the end of the coax. You've got it disconnected from the antenna. And take a, a little alligator clip wire like this. And now, go back inside and check, and there should be a short, okay, which there is in this case. So that's a good way to check uh, cables when you can't bring the two ends together. You'll just do the continuity test for the shell and the um, center conductor in series, okay? So, 
Now, I actually came up with a little something. I had a, a weird, weird thing going on. So what I did was I connected a, li a lamp. This is a, a little uh, LED lamp. It's designed so that it doesn't matter which direction the current is applied. Um, so it's got a little bridge in there, bridge rectifier. I connected that to an SO239, okay, now I'm going to, suppose I put this out in the yard, and I can bring in a battery here, there's a bio-NO battery, and I'm going to take black lead here uh, to shell and red lead and I'm going to use this for the center conductor and it lights up. So this is something you can see from a long ways away as you're doing your testing. So there you have it, multiple ways that you can test your coax to see if it passes the rudimentary tests of no shorts, no opens, everything gets through the way you want it. I do recommend, like on that first piece of coax, that you wiggle, wiggle it a little bit. See, we wiggled it a little bit and found when we wiggled it that we got a short. Okay, and this has been a little jumper cable that I've used for years and years and years while well, it's been used and uh, it's not uh, a good piece of coax anymore. This one that I have in front of me here with a little light on it uh, is a good piece of coax. I've had that for quite a while too. So um, we have looked at ways. Now I would recommend that whenever you build a coax or before you put a new piece of coax into service that you do these basic rudimentary DC testing just to make sure. Because if it's shorted to DC, it's not a good cable at RF. Um, and you can uh, uh, be pretty assured you've got a reasonable cable if it passes these tests. So, uh, be sure to check out dcastler.com support for ways that you can help fund this channel. And until we next meet, 73.